Hey, let me tell you something. Yeah. I'm for baptism. Yeah. Amen. I'm for repenting of your sins. I'm for going to church three times a week. I'm for reading the Bible every day. I'm for prayer. I'm for following the Ten Commandments. I'm for living a godly life. I'm for Bible memorization. I'm for doing the right thing. I'm for it. But let me tell you something. You don't have to do any of those things to be saved. Amen. Because if you did, then we'd all be going to hell. Because the Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And if you have to turn away from your sins to be saved, then nobody's saved. I'd like for somebody to stand up right now and say, I've turned from my sins. You are liars what you are. Turn from your sins. You've turned from nothing. Somebody who's filled with pride and arrogancy and wants to boast before God and say, I'm going to heaven because I turned from my sin. You did nothing to get yourself to heaven. Jesus paid it all. All to him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain. He washed it white as snow. I had nothing to do with it. All I did was reach up my hands with a childlike faith and just cry out unto the Lord and call upon the name of the Lord. That's all I did. He did everything. I did what a child could do. Just put all my trust in him. Just put my faith in him. And you know what? There's nothing boastful about that. Oh, I gave up such a life of sin. That's boasting. Hey, if any man wants to glory and boast, let him glory in the Lord. Why don't you brag on the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ? His death, his burial, his resurrection is the power of God unto salvation. Not your 12-step program that you've repackaged as the gospel. The gospel is not a 12-step program. The gospel is not quitting drinking. The gospel, and look, just to prove it to you, there are all kinds of people who quit drinking every day and they're not saved. They don't believe in Christ. They went to Alcoholics Anonymous. They went to Narcotics Anonymous. And that's how they quit. It had nothing to do with salvation. That's the evidence of salvation. That's the evidence of a 12-step program. And so what I'm trying to say tonight is not that, it, that we should continue in sin. Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. But if we continue in sin, the Bible says grace will abound. Romans 5.20. You say, why are you so fired up about this? You know why I'm fired up about it? Because it's heaven and hell. It's life and death. This is like what it says in 1 Thessalonians 1, where he says how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God. Now, people will say this, oh, isn't idolatry sin? Therefore, you have to repent of your sins to be saved. You know what? If you want to believe that, then just go ahead and believe a lie. Just ignore the truth. If anybody just wants to just make things up to try to find some clever way to prove me wrong, prove me wrong all the way to hell then. Because the Bible says it's by faith alone.